Hello everyone. The past two weeks, the precious metals market have been a bit of a roller coaster. It was quite a ride, but I like to think about it that the markets are having a sale and that this is a great buying opportunity. It was a few weeks ago, but I decided to buy some platinum. I got a Valcambi 1 ounce platinum bar from US Gold Bureau and I wanted to share that experience with you. They have excellent customer service, they always follow up with me, and they usually have great prices. But before I get to that, Please like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay up to date, and please leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you think. I paid a little over $1,330 for the bar at the end of April. I can say that I wish that this was the past week that I bought it, but I generally don't do that. I don't try to time the market. I like the dollar cost average so that this way, even though I get a little bit of the highs, I also get a little bit of the lows. And no one can time the market perfectly because if they could, they would have all the money in the world. And the two greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett and George Soros, only average about 20% return on investment every year. Even they don't time the market perfectly. But to me, it's not about timing the market perfectly anyway. It's about getting something that is valuable which I expect to increase in value over time. Platinum is extremely rare. The world's reserves of platinum in tons are only a little over a third of the world's gold reserves in tons. The rate at which platinum is mined is around 6% of the amount of gold mined annually globally. There is no reason there should be this kind of price discrepancy for these two metals. Platinum is more rare than gold, we have much less of it, and we are not going to have any anticipated or realistic increase in supply of it in the future. Platinum is very useful, even more so than gold. They are both chemically resistant, but platinum has a much higher melting point. Its resistance to corrosion at high temperatures makes it a very desirable industrial metal and is used in many different kinds of applications. The biggest use of platinum is in its catalytic converters in cars and in spark plugs, but it's used in other areas as well. It is a catalyst in chemical reactions in organic chemistry and it's used to make medicines and other important chemicals. Since it's so unreactive, and it is harder than gold. It can be used to make stents to keep veins and arteries from collapsing, as well as other things that are used internally because it's not going to react with your body or any chemicals in it and therefore cause you harm. There are other metals that are not well known that can be examples of this, and we see what happens of that in supply crunches. Iridium, for example, increased in price by over 10 times between 2020 and 2021. Rhodium increased by about 40 times in price between 2018 and 2021. If you really want to consume something that is valuable, then you should do so by not consuming it, but by getting something that others need to consume rather than want to consume. I do that by buying platinum. I look to the future and I see that its price can fly high. Not all that glitters is gold. Platinum can also glitter, but we should use it to make something more important than that. Learn new things, remember the old, buy silver, buy gold, and platinum too. I hope this was informative. Please check back in the future for more videos like this, and thank you very much for watching.